What's going on guys? My name is Paul. I'm a vintage watch collector uh, from Nashville, Tennessee and I uh, wanted to talk to you about my barn find of sorts. This 1940s uh, military dress piece by Omega. This is a rose gold 35 millimeter uh, 200, uh, 268 caliber manual wind uh, in rose gold. I think I said that already that I uh, found at a pawn shop. I uh, was not looking for watches, but I always look at watches everywhere I go. I happen to be at this little rinky dink pawn shop and uh, found this in a case with a bunch of little smart watches. And um, they pulled it out for me. I took a look at it, had a price tag on the back that was just insanely inexpensive. Uh, so I purchased it. Um, peeled the uh, price off the back and it revealed this which I could not read because I'm not Brazilian uh, but uh, popping it into Google Translate it uh, translates into this is an awards piece uh, either for exemplary service or graduation uh, given by a uh, admiral who was the director of the Naval Academy in Rio de Janeiro uh, right after World War II uh, to a cadet and uh, so the the gentleman's name if I can get this right it's uh, Alberto uh, Lara de Alameda and again, he was an admiral in the uh, um, Brazilian Navy. He actually uh, commanded two naval uh, battleships in World War II and uh, then returned to the uh, Naval Academy uh, to teach where he retired in like 1948, I believe. Um, but yeah, so uh, this piece uh, I found uh, under no pretense. It was just sitting out uh, with its original bracelet. Um, it winds well. Uh, I haven't polished it. I haven't cleaned it up. This is how I found it. And uh, it was, uh, I'll just say it's cheap. it was cheaper than many Seikos. And um, I, I definitely, it's my favorite piece. I feel like I'm a custodian to this piece to, uh, you know, keep it safe and uh, make sure that you know, it's it's an award. It's a piece of history. I want it to live on, and uh, I just I wanted to talk about it because people think they can't find anything cool. Um, they think they have to buy new and wait till it gets old. There there's stuff out there, and you don't always have to be looking for it. Sometimes it finds you, like this, and uh, sometimes it changes your life. This um, after getting this piece, I got into vintage watches. I started collecting vintage watches because this was my first vintage watch, by the way. And um, over the years, I just, I've made so many friends through the community and I've learned so much, not only about Brazil and the Brazilian Navy uh, and World War II for that matter via the watch, uh, but I've learned so much from those friends that I've made. I've even left a career I had for decades in the running industry and got into jewelry, uh, selling jewelry just because I wanted to be around watches and watch people uh, and talk to people about their watches. So um, yeah, my little barn find that has changed my life for the better I'd say. Um, but I wanted to pass it along. Hope you enjoy it. Definitely take a look at the case back in the photo and uh, research this guy. It's it's amazing. It's really amazing.